This will be a good one. 160 pound weight class from Pendleton Heights. Matt Todd, his head coach is Dave Cloud. The senior is 46 and 0. His record 125 and 14 in his career. He won the Newcastle semi-state, a two-time sectional champion, a semi-state champion, a three-time county champion in Madison County. He's won the Heritage Hoosier Heritage Conference Championship, tipped an invitational, and scores of other invitationals. He is going against 42 and 0 Briar Runyon from Martinsville. Lee Lidden, the head coach, of course, the senior Runyon, his career record 137 and 10. Won the Evansville Semi-State, has won sectional championships and semi-state titles. Uh, Three-time Memorial Champion, two-time Bo Henry Champion, a seven-time ISWA State Champion, seven-time Team Indiana member, all-time nice. career record holder for wins, pins, and season pins at Martinsville. He, too, has been accepted to West Point. His father, unable to be here this weekend, he, too, serving in the military. Great move by Runyon. He... He was able to get a single leg attack. He held on to the leg. He barely knew they got to take down twice on Todd. And finally, third time taking him down was a charm. Hopefully his dad is somewhere where he can be watching us as we speak on IHSAAsports.org. I think we were able to be on hand for the sectional, but then had uh, some commitments that he had to uh, report to Camp Atterbury. Runyon's got a hook now and a bar arm. He's trying to go for a pinning combination. He can get to the opposite side. No, he's going for a double hook. Todd is defending. He's going to keep the elbows in. Runyon's got it. He's running. It. He's running. He's got him to his back. Get a hook near side and he bar arm. And now he's going for. He's got three near fall and he's going for the pin. He's a good one trying to finish. Todd doing all he can to twist out of it. He got his arm free. He should come up with something out of it. So Runyon racking up the points early on with 14 seconds left in period one. He's jumped out to a 5 to nothing advantage. Todd, as we said, no slouch at 46-0. and 0. Well, It should be 5-1. I think he, Todd got the escape after that the That is 5-1. You're right. 65 career falls for Matt Todd, a 125-14 and 14 record, as we said, overall. Uh, Runyon has been nothing but impressive these last couple of weeks. He looked very good last week in Evansville, and he certainly started out well in the state championship match. He's up to 5-1 to one at the end of period number one. Period. Runyon's in the blue singlet, and he is the home wrestler. Todd is trying to stay behind underneath the arm, but Runyon is getting to his base. He's to his feet. Now, Todd must try to take him down. Here he gets him down. Back to the mat. Runyon's protecting. I think he's a little bit leery of the legs coming in. That's right. Runyon, or rather Todd is running what's called a, a claw. He could pick him up with the, with the arm draped underneath to the opposite shoulder on Runyon and pick up the near leg. He can take him right to his back to a Turk. Coming up on the one minute mark. Five to one your score. Briar Runyon leading Matt Todd. Runyon from Martinsville. Todd from Pendleton Heights. Okay, Runyon's trying to pull the arm across his, the other side of his shoulders. Now he's going to try to dip his hip perhaps and get his leg free. Now he's got a wizard. He's got wrist control. If he could drag his leg out, he's going to have at least one, perhaps two. Runyon should do everything he can now to score, to build on that lead, because four points at this point in time is not enough. 152-pound runner-up a year ago, Briar Runyon. Matt Todd beat Ross Powell of Northridge, and both were unbeaten going into their semifinal match. Mark Myers of Crown Point, an unbeaten senior. Briar Runyon's victim. Nice move by Runyon. He's going to possibly, if he can get his head out or get squared, he can get away with 17 seconds left. But Todd is hanging on with a front headlock. And again, a lot of scoring early. There's his head popping out. Pace There's slowed just a little bit. Runyon picks up a point, makes it 6-1 to one now as period number two draws to a close. Great strategy by Runyon. He kind of waited his time. He was patient, and he got his escape with about four seconds left. 
And now he has a five point lead. But this thing is not over yet. Todd is a very good wrestler and he's very opportunistic. 65 career falls 33 on the season and as we mentioned Dave Cloud's young man is uh, 46 and 0 the senior so he too is a veteran. Well, Dave Cloud is an outstanding coach and he's one of the officers or had past officer in the coaches association so he's been around for a good while and he's got a lot, great deal of respect from fellow coaches. Runyon's doing a nice job with the he's trying to work for a hammer lock on blood blood timeout. Runyon is trying to follow. He does a nice job. He's trying to stay in good position. He just tried to feel what Todd is going to try to do and encounter it. He likes to work the hooks and control the wrist. He's trying to roll the near arm under and can control that like he did in the first period to get back points. Nice move by Todd. He gets a one point escape. Now he's got, he's looking for a knee block. He's going to reach through with his right arm and try to block Runyon's right knee. Minute to go, Runyon up six to two. Stalemate. Todd's going to turn on the offensive now. He's got very little time and he's a very good wrestler. He can make big things happen. The big thing Runyon has to do is not get in a bad situation where he gets taken from his feet to his back. 45 seconds. Todd's got the overhook. Runyon's controlling the other side wrist. He's in good position. Go. So Runyon, Runyon a runner up a year ago. Go, Matthew. Oh, nice single. At 152. Now he's got to watch. Runyon doesn't want to stay here and give Todd a chance to do what is called a cutback. He's got the leg high. This is where they were in the first period. He's trying to uh, semi cut back, we'll say, but he, Todd had to do something. Now Runyon's got a near side cradle, and I think he's going to be content just to ride the time. Eight to two, your score, and Briar Runyon is going to be the 160-pound state champion for the Martinsville Artisans. That's a takedown, and he gave the escape. Congratulations, Briar Runyon. And I also should add, Talking to Coach Lee, Lee Leiden before the match, this is his last match that he's going to be Let's the head go, coach. Who was removed from the mat on a stretcher and taken to the hospital today. This in the afternoon session, and he too is back to claim his eighth place medal from Avon High School, Dalton Jones. It looks like Dalton has some security around his neck, but it's great to see him on his feet, not injured seriously. Sixth place this year goes to Lowell High School's Kurt Monix. Finishing fifth, Brad Farrell of Fishers. Fourth place goes to Northridge High School's Ross Powell. Finishing third for Crown Point, Mark Myers. Runner up at 160, Pendleton Heights senior Matt Todd. Finishing his senior season a perfect 43 and 0. And on top of the award stand with the 160 pound state championship for 2009, Martinsville High School's Brian Runyon. So the 160 pound title goes to Morgan County, courtesy of Brian Runyon at Martinsville High School.